Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a wellness check on Doja Cat. She just shaved her head and then said, you know what, I don't need eyebrows either. So let's make sure she's okay. Oh, shall we? Shall we? Okay, and now I'm cutting the cards with my non-dominant hands. Like so. So it's important to note that Doja Cat is a Libra with a Libra rising and a Virgo moon. So in her immediate chart, the only stabilizing force there really is that Virgo moon. Virgos are stable, they're practical, they're typically in touch with reality. They can be highly, highly analytical. They're ruled by Mercury. They can be very usually very good communicators and they have a very very strong attention to detail so they are sometimes accused of being ocd so it's a difficult place to have your emotional center there but hey at least she has it there that you know not in in another air sign so with libras what do we always say about libras they go to extremes to achieve what they see as balance we see this all the time with Kim Kardashian, who is a classic Libra. And we've seen Doja Cat act out before in public, like the whole Joseph Quinn dramedy, the whole remember months ago when she said she was like, I'm quitting music. And I was like, no, girl, you're not quitting anything. You're just a Libra acting out. On the one hand, I'm like, I guess it's not that big of a deal for her to shave her head because, you know, so many people in the public eye are just wearing wigs anyway. And they're just like, whatever, I'll just wear a wig. But then the whole, I'm gonna shave my eyebrows live, I'm just kind of like, hmm, hmm, gosh, is everything good with you? So we're dealing with some very difficult transits of late, we can talk about that later. So let's just start pulling some cards for Doja and just see what the what the, okay. So let's ask the guys, is there a mental emotional disorder at work here? Like is this is this, you know, she's being wacky or this is, or is this a sign of a deep, you know, psychological issue, disorder, what have you? Y'all get what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's the first question. Now let's say doja external, doja internal, what is helping or hurting the situation and where is her energy going? So we're doing a slightly different spread today because we're really just dealing with one person, which would be doja in case you weren't paying attention. Okay, so... Is this a sign of like, say, like a disorder, a psychological disorder? Oh, okay. Well, we got the Knight of Swords in reverse. So the answer is quite possibly. So as we know, the Knight of Swords, this is young, high energy that comes in and is very strong and fast and is like, I'm gonna change the world. I'm gonna do it overnight and I'm gonna trade crypto and I'm gonna build a house, sell a house, flip a house. I'm gonna buy an app and then flip it and sell it. And you you guys know, we see this card a lot with like a lot of fuckboys that come through in these readings. So it's a classic card for a fuckboy. This one is, when this card comes up in reverse, it can mean one of two things. It can mean like th that this bravado is receding and the card is stabilizing more, or it can mean that the card is even more de destabilized where it's just someone, you know, with a sword just kind of, not even going in a direction like this young man is. This can just be sometimes someone, you know, flailing wildly about. And I'm kind of getting the sense that that's what the guides mean in regards to Doja, that right now, you know, they say that fame is a type of trauma and that she's kind of struggling and that this is all just a manifestation of the trauma of fame and the difficulty of fame. Let's keep turning cards over. What is Doja's external vibe to the world? Right, okay, so we know this, Page of Pentacles. So someone who's young and destabilized. So upright, this would have been great, but that's not who we're dealing with. So this is a young person who has a healthy relationship with the physical world, you know, beginning their career, their journey, their, their place in the world, and everything is good and balanced and in harmony. There's a sense of mutual respect there. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's like, uh, you know, no mutual respect, destabilized, not grounded, not in touch with reality. So a young person who's emotionally immature and destabilized with their place in the world. Okay, so this we know, this is good actually, because it's checking out with what we know. So what's going on internally with Doja Cat? Oh, that's funny. Sometimes the guides have a sense of humor. So we got the fool upright. So the Fool is the first card of the deck. So it symbolizes that first step, the beginning of the journey, 
trust, optimism, courage, taking that leap and knowing that there's going to be something here on the other side for you to step onto. When the guides do this and say, oh, the fool, you know, they could just mean, they could mean several things. They could mean like that the guides could be saying like, we think she's kind of dumb. I mean, that's how they talk. But also they could be just suggesting like, hey, look, she's young. She's still very much at the beginning of her own fame. And this is just the first step in her journey. And she's, you know, taking a leap and she knows that everything's going to be okay. If she shaves her head, she shaves her eyebrows, she can do these kind of wild moves and she knows it's going to be all right. Or they might just think she's kind of a dumbass. So, all right. Okay. What is helping or hurting the situation with Doja? Yeah, I mean, we know. Yeah, interesting. So, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, this is a pattern. The guides are highlighting that she is destabilized. So, upright, the Queen of Pentacles has worked hard. She's played hard. She's financially secure and abundant. She is in touch with reality, and she has a healthy relationship with money and the greater physical world. So, as you can see, she's holding the pentacle in a sort of nurturing, respectful way. She's not like clinging to it or trying to smother it or anything like that or hoarding it. So it's a great card to get upright. In reverse, you know, it's a card of like, again, the destabilized relationship with money and with the physical world. So the guides are kind of sounding the alarm here thus far, unless this card here is fantastic. I'm a, I'm a little concerned about Ms. Doja, okay? So this is where the energy is heading. So more destabilization. Okay, so we got the six of pentacles in reverse. So the six of pentacles upright, you know, it's a card of like generosity, being on the receiving end of grace from someone else, you know, you know, getting what you kind of need and what you kind of want. So it, it's a card of somebody who's been generous with other people because like they were once in lack and in scarcity and now they can sort of pay it forward. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's signifying again, disharmony with the physical world, disharmony with other people, not being able to give or receive in a healthy, beneficial, mutually beneficial way. So this, to me, this suggests that we're gonna continue to have a sort of fractured relationship with Doja moving forward because honestly in this card I think we represent the people here like the fans and like she's not going to give the way she has been through her music and her talent but it's going to be through more wacky and bizarre behavior so it's kind of like what they say you know if there's one way to predict future behavior you look at past behavior as the best indicator of future behavior so I'm a little concerned put a comment below if you're also concerned and why and we will continue to monitor the situation like and subscribe and as always we'll do this again <laughs>